Several F1 legends have come out in the media to be vocal about their thoughts on seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton can lay claim to a great many records in Formula One, but none is quite as remarkable as the one he could be set to lose this year. Mercedes has suffered from porpoising worse than any other team on the grid this year, and after the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, Lewis Hamilton said there were times he nearly lost control of his car in the high-speed corners. Is it fair to say that Hamilton should step down from the sport? Stick around to the end of the video for all the information, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's take a look. Lewis Hamilton has naturally become accustomed to winning over the last eight years, with Mercedes easily the most dominant force since 2014. He racked up victory after victory, and even as Max Verstappen and Red Bull finally challenged his dominance, he was still a regular on the top step last year. But 2022 has been far from clear sailing for Mercedes and Lewis, with him only achieving two podium finishes so far. He is now on the verge of earning an unwanted record. If he does not win the British Grand Prix this weekend, he will set a new personal record for longest streak in the sport without winning a race. He's went around the track on eight occasions, and so is perhaps here where he has more chance of returning to the top step than any other location this season. Former Formula One legend Bernie Ecclestone has criticized Lewis Hamilton for his demeanor so far this year, indicating that the 37-year-old should step down. Ecclestone gets the impression that the Mercedes driver has taken losing with too much dignity and believes he should be more riled up by Russell beating him. Toto is getting a bit fed up with Lewis. I don't think he's trying, do you? Let's put it another way. Lewis doesn't seem bothered about losing. It's not like him. He has a competitive nature, but he's taking losing a bit easy for my liking. The 91-year-old believes that both Hamilton and Wolf have started thinking about parting ways in the near future, even though Hamilton is contracted with Mercedes until the end of 2023. Ecclestone has questioned whether the seven-time world champion could walk away sooner. Lewis might sell his position to Toto. This is how much I am getting. I'll step down and give me half of what I would get, he explained. Toto can go and do one of his magic deals, offer someone less money, and keep $20 million. Nobody needs to tell Toto this because he has already thought of it. Lewis would probably stop under those circumstances. Three-time world champion Jackie Stewart also called on Hamilton to think about moving on from F1. He's now struggling a little bit because he's had a new teammate who has been quicker than him in qualifying so far this year, which is going to be difficult for him to handle. I think it's time for him to resign. He's got music, he's got culture, he loves clothing, and the rag trade would be absolutely suitable for him. With Hamilton's title-winning run coming to an end, Stewart reaffirmed, I would like to see him resigning now. It's a pity he wasn't resigning at the top, but I don't think that's going to happen now. But nevertheless, it's wiser to stop than go through all the pain of not being able to do what you did before. George Russell has outperformed Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes so far this season. With a string of solid points finishes, Russell has achieved three podium finishes, finishing no worse than P5 in every race of 2022 so far. He currently leads Hamilton by 34 points in the Drivers' Championship and is the only driver on the grid to score points in every race so far. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and technical director Mike Elliott agree that it will be difficult for Lewis and George to continue the team's strong form at Silverstone this weekend. The Montreal performance was the team's most competitive race of the campaign, in pure pace terms, but Wolf is remaining very cautious and is mindful that similar levels of optimism after the Spanish Grand Prix evaporated very quickly. One swallow doesn't make a summer, he explained. We saw that swallow in Barcelona, but somehow it flew somewhere else. I think we need to be careful. We were off the pace on Friday. In the wet, we were good, and I think that was respectable. And I think that in the race, at times, we were with the quickest cars. In the second stint, Lewis and George were almost matching the front runners. They were not quite, but on some laps, yes. That is very encouraging to see. But we just need to be careful. There's so much work we need to do in order to be back at the front. And we are not yet there. The Mercedes is strongest in fastest corners and on smooth tracks. Silverstone is a quick circuit and has a reasonable surface even though there is still the odd bump there to catch the drivers out. 
And as Lewis Hamilton has pointed out, there are still concerns about the ride problems causing difficulty in certain corners. Silverstone is also a different challenge to the Spanish Grand Prix. While the latter remains a more pure downforce circuit, the grip level of current cars, particularly in the fast corners, makes Silverstone more of a compromise aero-wise. The team is planning to bring some updates to this weekend's race in a bid to take another step forward so that it can challenge both Red Bull and Ferrari. I think there are lots of learnings from this weekend and improvements that we can make moving forward. I really hope moving to Silverstone, it's such an important race for us and for me. And so I just want to be in a battle with these guys. I think we're better in medium and high speed corners probably than we are in the low speed corners, but we have bouncing. So I don't know how it's going to be through cops and all those places. The upgrades for Silverstone could help. Although these won't transform the car, given it will take more than a normal package to make the Mercedes W13 into a car that doesn't have to run super stiff and in a relatively narrow setup window. Realistically, while Mercedes can be positive heading to Silverstone, the chances of challenging for victory are slim. They would be reliant on both Red Bull and Ferrari hitting trouble. However, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner anticipated Mercedes will pose a greater threat at the front in Silverstone believing it could be the most challenging race for Red Bull. Asked if he thought Mercedes would be a factor at Silverstone, Horner replied, Definitely. I think they'll be strong at Silverstone. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. It could be a more challenging circuit for us just due to the nature of this layout. It's incredible that we've put a run of six race victories together, but Silverstone could well be the most challenging. He also believes that title rivals Ferrari will have the advantage at the British Grand Prix but says his team is fired up to win at Silverstone. After losing out on victory last year, Verstappen was racing with Hamilton into the high-speed corner when the pair made contact. Verstappen was sent flying off into the gravel and suffered a huge impact with the tire barriers. Horner said it was the biggest accident in Verstappen's career. Silverstone was pretty tough for us last year, said Horner. We went there with a healthy lead last year. We go in there again with one this year, so it's important for us to keep this momentum going. It's been a heck of a run of races that we've put together, and the team, the drivers, are doing a great job. Silverstone is one of the best circuits on the calendar, added Horner. It's going to be a record crowd again this year. We're looking forward to seeing everyone there. I'm sure there will be a huge support for the Mercedes drivers, but we'll go in there fired up and try to put right what happened last year. Mercedes may be closer to Ferrari and Red Bull in Silverstone, but they still have a lot of ground to make up with their pace in the title fight. They are 116 points behind Red Bull, while Russell and Hamilton are 64 and 98 points off Verstappen, respectively, in the driver's standings. What are your expectations for the upcoming races? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.